Welcome back to another episode and this one will be the last episode of our van conversion project because we are this close to being done. On today's agenda I want to do the final touch-ups, want to install all the small stuff that we haven't really gotten to yet. Stick around and watch us complete this van conversion. For now I'm trying to finalize our little like sofa back because this turns into a seat and we want like a backrest for it. So our idea is to lock it in with these two. And so I'm measuring that out right now. And in the meanwhile, Connor's working on the wheel tops. We've got that one pretty much figured out, but I'll show you guys when that's done too. I just added the locks onto the back side of the backrest. Um, so this will be facing down when we're sleeping. And now I'm just gonna drill some holes into the wheel covers. I think, I think we nailed it actually. Show you the table. Yeah. Real quick. So <laughs> Imagine working away here on your laptop, doing some YouTube you, editing. You can just chill on your phone as well. Yeah, as well eating yeah. dinner. Nah, 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 nah. And it's also so nice because actually on the other side, we don't even need a backrest because the seats work as backrests themselves. So when you're sitting on that side, and believe it or not, these are actually quite comfortable to lean against. So we got it all sorted for visitors, for any guests who's coming over. Alrighty, so I added the two extra holes and this looks sturdy as hell. Look at this. We've got the setup back here, very simple, just using the locks to hook it in. Ow, shoot! <laughs> and then we got Connor over there, enjoying his comfy seat. Yes, sir. So excited for this little sofa. Check. So if we take a moment, just to look over here, we'll see the little wheel cover thingies are done. Look at that. I can place this water bottle anywhere, and it doesn't crash and burn and fall apart, which is great. So rather than doing hinges like was originally planned, we decided to just go with, you know, put a bunch of brackets in this little frame thing so you can just stick in there however it likes. Well, not however it likes, you know, nice and snug. And so that just slots in and it's back in place. Boom! I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of that one. It looks very nice. Alright, it's finally time to install these. These have been a little bit put on rest for the past couple of weeks. But now we're ready to finish them off. So we've had a change of hearts. We will no longer be putting textile over it because it just simply didn't look that good. So instead we're just going with this wooden touch to our van. And as you can see, I've already installed one, which looks pretty good. And it was quite straightforward. So what we do is drill holes in this metal beam, put three screws in to attach them in the middle, and then that's pretty much it. So I think, I reckon I'll be done with this in 10 minutes. Probably not. hours later and we just got back from the store and we bought tons of fun accessories for the car let me show you our first purchase is this little wheel cover mm, doesn't that look fresh look at the seams what else did we get yes so we've got some headrest hooks amazing for when you're going shopping and you don't have anywhere to put your bags and they just hang on the seat like that and perfect so I got four of those then <laughs> wait now this is one of my favorites we got a camping car organizer this is perfect because we don't have like shelves in the van I think that's fine yeah interesting you know it's like for when we're sleeping and we want to have stuff that yeah, are accessible yeah. this is perfect for that so I think it's a keeper Another thing that we got from the stores are these curtains, blackout curtains, that will be going here to shield us from the light in the mornings. So we also got this special stretch wire kit to set it up. 
and keep the curtains in place. However, I have yet to figure out how to actually attach these to the van because we're not really willing to drill any more holes. Um, I'm thinking I might be able to like thread it in this hole and then... Very easy. We literally just made a loop from the little holes that were already available. Boom, 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 boom. And we did the same here and actually just fastening it with that little hook on the end. There we have it. This plus face mask will be all right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it's better than nothing. Also it gives you a bit of privacy when you're parked up somewhere. It's awning time as you can see. All right, so we pop these edges off and then insert the bolts, take the nut and washer off, bam. Then you slide them into the truck. Nice it's still in here though, like this. <laughs> you know, beautiful view of the Havel. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, dearie me. Oh, it's okay. good. Okay. And how, how easy is it to roll it up and roll it out? Oh, it was well, easy. Well, it's easier to roll out. We haven't rolled it up yet. Yeah. <laughs> but I yeah. think it'll be just as easy. Where do you roll it out? Yeah, here's our setup. What do you mean? So here's a small update on my shoe storage DIY project. I've managed to fix the frames, used uh, wood glue and screws, and now what's left is just to put the beams in to keep it into place. And then I bought this magical string that I will tie across to keep the shoes in place. And this is the part that I'm really excited about. I'm also thinking of painting this just to make it a little bit more fun. Okay, a quick tip from the coach. Don't start using oil paint without knowing what the heck it actually entails because I just started washing my oil-based paintbrush off and now I've got all this paint on my hands that I can't get rid of. So I realized that, no, because it's oil-based, you cannot just wash it off with water. So now I've emergency called Connor to have him buy some oil or paint thinner or something to get this off my hands. It's like the stickiest, yuckiest sensation. Um, so yeah, tip from the coach, don't start painting with paints that you have no idea how to wash off, okay? I think I've ruined about like three paintbrushes on the way. I still drink some tea though. Oh, so stupid. Uh, Connor is the life savior. He came and brought some mineral turpentine, which is supposed uh, to, well, get rid of this. <laughs> oh. What's going on? Oh my god, thank you! <laughs> I've been sitting like this for like 40 minutes. Pretty much like new. At least now we can continue with what I was doing like an hour ago. Looks like it's you know lived in home now with the shoes. <laughs> it does. That's so cute. I think the, yeah, the stain wood looks better when there's shoes in it, so you can't yeah. see all of it. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, Connor wasn't too happy with the color that I spent like four hours doing, <laughs> all in all. But I reckon it's good because it kind of hides the dirt if you have dirty shoes too. Yeah. No, but this looks so cute. It's all yeah. in the details. It does. Good morning! It is officially our moving day today and we're moving into the van. So we're currently packing up some stuff that we purchased Damn. yesterday. Our extinguisher, our toilet and other goods. And now we're trying to see how we can make all of our clothes and belongings fit. This is like the time for the real test. Yeah, it's been six weeks of van build. Yep. And now, finally, we can move in to our new home. So what we've decided to do to make our space use as efficient as possible is to pack all of our clothes in small boxes that we got from Kmart. Basically just rolling everything together and squeezing it tight. We've got our shoe rack, which is finally coming to use. And all of the miscellaneous and stuff. We've got a storage compartment over there. And we're just trying to box everything in so nothing is laying around loose, you know, because that will obviously be, that will obviously move around when we're driving.
isn't this smart? Pretty happy with that. No, that actually is kind of genius, I'm not gonna lie. Welcome to the Van Library here. <laughs> yes, we've got Behave oh, let me get my book. or Sapiens for you. Anything else you like? We probably got it in the other door. So we're getting camping ready. Filled that with water. This is filled with gas. Just putting it all in. This is our little tank for grey water. So our issue previously was that there was not enough room to put a grey water tank in just because this sink goes down so low. But we instead figured out that show them. We the guy. Okay, Ross. Ross at the plumbing store, McCrackens. He figured out this genius solution where you basically use just different angle brackets. What are they called? No, they're just angle things. Angle thingies. Um, yeah, and to mount it like this instead, which solves the problem of it not being deep enough or being too deep, and also leading it directly into the grey water tank with it being sealed, which is super important when we're driving. Can you test it out? Yeah, I reckon so. So this is our entire sink setup. Give it a little tester. <laughs> Oh my! You can even see it flowing. So I just popped back into the garage quickly to make one of these to secure the gas tank and the water so that when we're driving it simply just doesn't move around. So we got this, put in a hook here and then yeah, perfect. So it's a couple of hours later and we're just putting in the final stuff into the van before we're heading out to our first campsite. So we're going to this free camping site just a couple of minutes away just to start local and close um, and I'm so nervous because I've never camped before and I was saying in the car to Connor, I was like, jeez, like what's, you know, this is so new to me, what's the etiquette, how, like, what are people like who go camping, do you say hi to your neighbours, do you keep to yourself, um, yeah, it's, it's a complete new world for me to explore and uh, it's going to be so much fun. So I reckon I'll update you when we arrive on site with our new camper van. We, we have officially arrived to our first campsite. And I think this is so new to both of us that we're both like giggling and feeling kind of awkward. I don't know about it with a, a normal campsite. If you set up a tent, you have like a, I don't know. I, yeah, I can't remember. I've been camping a while either. Yeah, I have no idea. Anyways, I reckon we'll start preparing our first meal in the van. And, but so far, look how cozy. This is very cozy. It looks great. And oh. unfortunately you can't see anything outside, but there's basically camper vans all over. And it's a great first place to start with because it's a free camping site with toilet facilities, with a drain thing where you can leave your waste. Um, and it's free. So yeah, perfect for rookies like us. <laughs> Anyways, let's get cooking. Let me check the... Uh... We've got football practice in the background with footy or rugby. Completely butchering that onion. What do I do with this pillow? Put it in the front. We did it! <laughs> First dinner. In our made camper entirely van. Entirely in the van. Oh, so sick. Let's see if it tastes good. Mm, tastes great. Well, I think I'm gonna end this vlog or episode here. But this is what we had to do to do it. Oh, yeah. Don't look there. <laughs> Good. No, so this is officially the end of our camper van conversion, but also the start of our lap camper around Australia. Gym. Exactly. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for following our camper van conversion journey. And um, goodbye to this series and welcome and we'll to the next. And we'll see you tomorrow for a surf. Yay! <laughs>